A woman. A tire that's flat. A disease. A desire. Fears in front of you. Fears that hold so still you can study them like pieces on a chessboard. It's not the large things that send a man to the madhouse. Death, he's ready for. Or murder, incest, robbery, fire, flood. No, it's the continuing series of small tragedies that send a man to the madhouse. Not the death of his love, but a shoelace that snaps with no time left. The dread of life is that swarm of trivialities that can kill quicker than cancer and which are always there. License plates, or taxes, or expired driver's license, or hiring, or firing. Doing it, or having it done to you, or roaches, or flies, or a broken hook on a screen, or out of gas, or too much gas. The sink stopped up, the landlord's drunk, the president doesn't care, and the governor's crazy. Light switch broken, mattress like a porcupine, $105 for a tune-up, carburetor, and fuel pump at Sears Roebuck, and the phone bill's up, and the market's down, and the toilet chain is broken, and the light has burned out, the hall light, the front light, the back light, the inner light, it's darker than hell and twice as expensive. Then there's always crabs and ingrown toenails and people who insist they're your friends. There's always that and worse. Leaky faucet, Christ and Christmas, blue salami, nine day rains, 50 cent avocados and purple liverwurst or making it as a waitress at norms on the split shift or as an emptier of bedpans or as a car wash or a bus boy or stealer of old ladies purses leaving them screaming on the sidewalks with broken arms at the age of 80 suddenly Two red lights in your rearview mirror and blood in your underwear. Toothache and $979 for a bridge, $300 for a gold tooth, and China and Russia and America and long hair and short hair and no hair and beards and no faces and plenty of zigzag but no pot except maybe one to piss in and the other one around your gut. With each broken shoelace, out of 100 broken shoelaces, one man, one woman, one thing enters a madhouse. So be careful when you bend over.